Okay, next up we're going to be using um, Lovatel's rule and our function. First, we need to understand what L'Hopital's rule is. And that just simply states that um, if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to 0, or it's equal to positive infinity over negative infinity, or the limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal to 0, or again the same case, positive infinity over negative infinity, what that is going to mean is that the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches a of the derivative of the two. And so we're going to use that on the question that we've been given here. And we have, um, we are looking for the limit as c approaches 0 from the positive end of m g over c into 1 minus e to the power of negative c t over m. And then we're going to rewrite this in a different form so it's easier to take to put it into this form. So c approaches 0 is going to be equal to 1 minus e to the negative ct over m all over c over m g. And then next up we have that this is equal to our f of c and this is equal to our g of c. We're going to take the derivative of both of them so that, that way we can get the answer to this by having this. And so it will be equal to the limit as c approaches 0 from the positive side. The derivative of this is going to be negative 1 by negative um, t over m. So that simply will become t over m multiplied by e to the negative ct over m. This can be done by just simply using u is equal to negative ct over m and applying the chain rule to get the derivative. And then the derivative of this is just going to be 1 over mg. Okay, and so um, let's rewrite this. Or we can take the limit first. The limit as this approaches 0 from the negative side will become 1. And so what we'll be left with is t over m over 1 over mg. This is going to be t over m. times mg. The two m's will cancel and that will just leave us with t times g. And that's going to be our final answer.